Hello everyone, welcome in this new video on our channel. Today I'm going to explain to you how to obtain a free VPS in just two minutes. For those who doesn't know what VPS is, it's a virtual private server. Let's say it's a virtual computer hosted by service provider like uh, Oracle, Azure, AWS and other where we can run our MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 and run a EA on it 24-7. Working with automated trading strategy will quickly require you to have a VPS. You can run this strategy on your PC, however, you cannot guarantee to have internet all the time, all your PC is up all the time, and so on. A VPS basically adds a server installed in a big data center where you have always electricity, always internet, and it's always up. So we have a high level uptime for this VPS. Second of all, it's the ping that you have is more stable. Let's say, for example, if I take IC market servers for MT4 and MT5, they are hosted in a data center in New York. I'll, you can see the link below in the description. If I take, for example, Tickmeal, their uh, MT5, MT4 servers are uh, deployed in a London uh, data center. So when choosing a VPS, you're going to choose its location. So if you are, for example, with IC Market, you will go for a New York data center, while if you are with Tickmeal, you'll go for London data center. You'll have your VPS very close to your MetaTrader servers, and you have a very fast and stable ping. Our third point is the high scalability. A normal VPS, let's say, uh, running with 2 giga RAM and a 30 giga uh, hard disk, can run up to three or four uh, meta traders with no problem. Let's say you want to add more meta traders, you have plenty of strategy. In a couple of clicks, you can add RAM and you can add space. So it's very high scalable. And finally, it's really cheap. If uh, you take a computer, uh, imagine about it, a computer uh, that is up 24 hours, you have internet connection, you have everything on it, and would, it will cost you between 15 and $30 per month. It depends on the uh, spec and the host, uh, host you, are, you are choosing. So basically all these four uh, parameters will push us as uh, automated strategy traders uh, to go to VPS. All right, now as you are familiar with VPS, the question would be how to have or create a free Forex VPS for your trading strategy. Well, the simplest way is to go with AWS. They provide you for uh, one year a free VPS. And in the remaining part of the video, I'll show you how you can create this VPS. So first of all, you need to visit awsamazon.com and you need to sign in or uh, create an account. So sign up. Uh, when you sign up, there's multiple steps. I will uh, leave you the th link in the description of the video. Basically, it's explaining the different step you need to follow uh, to create a, an AWS account. So your address, your email address, your uh, phone number and so on, verification and so on. Uh, it's quite simple, it will take you one to two minutes to create uh, the account. Uh, you need to pay attention that they will ask you for a valid payment method. Usually if you are opting for the free eligible uh, VPS, you will not be paying anything, but they need to have your a payment method in case you are using, uh, let's say, paid services from AWS. Uh, you need to pay attention for this one because uh, your VPS is valid for one year uh, free of charge. Beyond one year free of charge, you will be uh, charged uh, via your payment method. So pay attention to this point. Uh, once you create your account, basically you're going to lock your, lock your AWS Management Console and it will look something similar to this. A point that you need to pay attention to also before starting creating uh, the VPS is to choose well your region. For example, uh, if you are if you have a broker Tickmill, Tickmill uh, servers are hosted in London as per their website. So better you to, to, to choose the region which is Europe, London. If, for example, you have a broker like uh, uh, IC Market, they have their 
servers hosted in New York, so better to choose one of the US East uh, data servers. This way you'll have a fast ping and you have a stable ping between your VPS and the broker server. Once you have chosen your, your region, basically you go to EC2 dashboard. Once you are on the EC2 dashboard, basically you choose to launch an instance. If you have a template, you can choose a template, but for the first time, you're going to just simply launch an instance. VPS Kanban. Uh, here you're going to just uh, go for a quick start. Basically, you need to choose your Windows. I usually go for Windows. It's more it's simple. Uh, you take server 2022. Uh, you can see it's a free tier eligible. So it's a free for one year. If you select this, you go down. Uh, you need to select the T2 Micro. It's also a free tier eligible. So it's a one CPU, one virtual CPU, one giga RAM. Basically, I run three to four MetaTrader 5 on, on this instance. You have other instances that are not free, so make sure to choose the free tier eligible. Uh, KRP, uh, sorry, key pair uh, is used for creating your password later on. So uh, you need to create a new, all right, create a new key. I'll call it London PPS2. Uh, you make sure to take it in PEM. If you're using Windows, better to be a PEM. If you are a Linux expert, better to take a PP key. So for me, I'll take it as PEM and I advise you to do us. I create that pair. I'll save it. Everything else, I'll keep it as is. I don't change anything. Allo RDP, allo HTTPS, and allo HTTP. This is uh, also valid if you're training from that. You need to keep uh, your configuration storage to 30 gigabyte. Uh, beyond that, you'll be uh, you'll be charged for extra uh, space. I don't need I don't need to have more than 30 gigabyte, frankly speaking, to run MP4 MP4. And this is all what I need to do. And I'll launch my instance. It will take a couple of minutes just to be launched. And when it's launched, uh, we can go back to EC2 dashboard. And I see now I have one instance here. If I go to instance, it's still pending. So we'll wait the time to it to be active. Now you have your instance running. That means it is initialized and you can connect to. You can select it and the first time uh, you need to go to it, you need to set your password. So you connect, uh, you always choose RDP client for Windows, it's more simple. You download the remote desktop file, this will help you just to click on it, save it, click on it when you want to log in. You need to get your password and here the trick, you need to use a, a PM file that you have saved earlier. So get your password, London VPS. And you're gonna decrypt the password. So basically, here I have my uh, DNS name, my username, and my password. Now we have created the ECN. Basically, we can log in on it. Uh, I'll just uh, search for my RDP that I have saved, and I'm gonna launch my ECN. So here you can see that I'm connected to my ECN. I have already a, a platform running on it with NEA with all the trades that are being taken uh, automatically. Thanks a lot for following this video. Hope it is useful for you and it delivers what it meant to uh, deliver. Uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel, activate the bell uh, so we can receive new videos from our channel and new content. You will find in the description below uh, our referrals for IC Market and TickMill, which I really recommend as a broker. And you will find also our profile uh, seller page on MQL5. So don't hesitate to visit it and see what products we are proposing. Thanks a lot and 
Until next time, have an excellent trading journey.